everybody? It's your girl, JL Magic. How y'all doing? So, um, for those who followed me for fucking ever on Instagram and Facebook, you might recognize this look because I did this look damn near five years ago, if not five years ago. And, ugh. My God, this was when the Vice palette first came out. Well, the Vice 4 palette came out. This one right here, as you can clearly see, it's old as shit. It's been used to, uh, uh, ooh. Mm, I beg your pardon. Mama had her go-go juice, so. <laughs> as you can clearly see, it's been used to hell. You know, my favorite color being this green grasshopper color right here. It's been worn down to the pan. So if y'all know a dupe, please contact me and let me know where to get it because I don't want to run out of this shade. Oh, I don't want to run out of this shade either. This one is... Flame. Very appropriate. So, uh, yeah. But this look is basically a redo on a look I did Lord knows how many years ago. Basically five years ago. And I'll insert it right here. <laughs> clearly see it was a hot fucking mess i had no sense of blending i didn't even know what contour really was even though i was wearing it you know my eyeshadows weren't blended properly my eyeliner was a hot fucking mess and the worst faux pas was i didn't wear fucking lashes i didn't wear fucking lashes with this look oh my god so I'm just redoing it, you know, cause why not throw back, you know, <laughs> I'm filming this on a Thursday. So it's a literal throwback Thursday for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think I did a pretty damn good job redoing this damn look because like compared to what I used to look like. <laughs> hey. So without wasting any more time, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so I've already prepped and primed my skin or whatever. And I'm going to go in with a foundation. This is the Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup. This one right here, it's really, really nice. Really long wearing or whatever. Comes in a spatula. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. So I haven't really been digging that whole full coverage look simply because, well... You know, it's fine. I just finished finals when I'm filming this. It's not even going to be anywhere near finals by the time I upload this. But while, while I'm, you know, when I'm filming this video, you watch it right now, I was in finals. And uh, hmm. let's just say as a molecular bioscience student, it's... Uh, hmm. We're not going to talk about that. So I'm just going to go in with a light layer just so I don't exaggerate any sort of texture I might be having. So I'm just gonna go in with a booty blender. This one's from Sonia Kashuk and just directly dippy doo da day into the um, foundation. And I'm just gonna start bouncing. Okay, so after I finish blending out my foundation, I'm gonna be going with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It's my favorite one to use simply because of the formula. And I just dot it under my eye, just kind of haphazardly, and, I'll, and you'll know why in a minute. I don't do that whole like directly with the doe foot because I personally think it just makes me look really cake, like caked up and like not in a good way. So I just do like really small dots all over, except for the nose. Cause with the nose, they just go straight down. Cause it's just easier that way. And with the forehead, I just, you know, dot it around. So the reason I dot my concealer instead of just swiping it directly in an upside down triangle is because I always take my fingers and well, my ring finger specifically, just cause it's the easiest to use. And I just kind of smudge it with my finger, as you just, as you can clearly see. And what that does is that it thins out the actual product and rubs it out a little bit before I actually go in with a sponge and blend things out. I find personally that this method prevents me from using too much concealer all at once. And it just prevents my concealer from getting every which way. 
because when you're blending out a liquid, it tends to go everywhere, especially if it's not dry. So I just do this, and then I just let the concealer dry for a hot minute before going in with a sponge. Okay, so I've let this dry for about five minutes or so, and I'm gonna start buffing it out. So now that I finished blending out my concealer or whatever, I'm gonna take a powder. I'm just using Ben 9 Neutral Set and a sponge, a dry one. And I'm gonna be baking under my eye just to make sure everything sets. And then once I get my eye, I'm gonna bake everything else. Alright, so now I look like a powdered ass donut. <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit while I do my eyes. So let me just zoom you in right quick. So this is the palette I'll be featuring today. It's the Vice 4 and I accidentally started with the transition color because I forgot that it wasn't filming and I thought it was, so my bad. But basically the gist of it is I'm going in with my nickname Harlot, which is this color right here on a large fluffy brush. And I'm just putting it all over my crease and smoking it out. All right, so for the second color, I'm gonna be going in with Underhand, which is this other purple right here on a smaller but still fluffy blending brush. Okay, so after underhand, I'm gonna be going in with Pandemonium, which is this nice dark purple right here, on a small fluffy paddle brush. And we're gonna concentrate this on the outer V in the crease. So after Pandemonium, I'm just gonna take a fluffy paddle brush like this one that's clean, and I'm just gonna go over the edges like so, just to make sure that I have a nice, I have a more defined angle to my eyeshadow. So now that I'm done with the upper lid, I'm gonna go in with Grasshopper, which is this beautiful vibrant green right here on a small fluffy paddle brush. So after putting in the green, I need to blend it out, but I can't really do that with all this powder, so I'm just gonna knock off the parts under the eye. 
And so going back into the green color grasshopper with this itty bitty little black brush, I'm gonna buff and blend out the bottom shadow. All right, so after I'm done with the eyeshadows, I'm gonna go in with eyeliner, which I need to do off camera since I get really up close and personal in the mirror, but I'll let you know which ones, I'm, which eyeliners I'm using. I'm using the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner just to draw in the angles, and then I'm gonna be filling it in with this Integrate Liquid Eyeliner right here. So as you can see, I have some long ass wings on my eye. I haven't done wings like this in a fat minute, and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it. Um, so after we're done with the wings, I'm just gonna go in with the under eye with some black eyeliner, and then smudge it out with a black eyeshadow. So let me just do that real quick and I'll be right back, all right? All right. So for eyebrows, I'm gonna be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hill Pomade in Granite, and I'm gonna be applying it using the Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner Brush. Okay, so now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to be knocking off the rest of the powder with this foundation brush from Urban Decay. So I prefer using this dense foundation brush over a fluffy powder brush, simply because it's more dense and knocks off the powder more easily. So after eyebrows, I'm just gonna highlight right under the brow bridge using this 35P Morphe palette. I'm gonna be taking the palest purple shade right here on this paddle brush and just ever so gently highlight right, uh, right under the brow, right under the brow bone. All right, so let me pop up some, pop on some lashes, and then I'll be back to complete the rest of the face. So now that the lashes are on, I'm gonna start contouring my face. And for that, I'm gonna be going in with the Kevin Daquan Desert Nights Bronzer. And I'm gonna be taking this Tulip brush. Now to deepen the contour, because I always work with transition colors and the bronzer that I just use is a transition color, I'm gonna be going in with this really dark contour powder that I made using one of these weird, super loose blush brush type look of things. Now, just to make sure everything blends together, I always go in with a loose powder brush afterward and just swirl everything together. Now, going back to that previous bronzing color, I'm gonna contour my nose using a fluffy powder brush. Mm. 
Now for my favorite part, highlighter. So I haven't used this palette in a fat fucking minute. I used it all the time two years ago, but you know, I got obsessed with this Wet n Wild palette called, not Wet n Wild palette, Wet n Wild highlighter called Moon Tears. And I haven't dipped into this palette in a really long time. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using my usual combination, which would be bubbly and then sunburst. And I'm gonna be applying it using a blush brush. And then finally, I'm gonna top off the highlighter with this Wet n Wild I'm So Lit Loose Powder Highlighter. So now that we're done with the face and the eyes, let's move on to lips. Mm. So for lips, I'm gonna be using a combination of the Wet n Wild Video Vixen Liquid Lipstick as well as the Urban Decay Shame st uh, Tube Lipstick. So that completes this look. Oh my God, it's been so long since I've done a colorful look like this. Um, I've been so stuck with the neutrals, the warm tones, the browns, bronzes, and if I do decide to do color, I just always stick with monochromatic makeup. But uh, doing like a crazy combination like this feels so good, you have no clue. And also, I think I look hella bomb compared to back when I first did this look. Cause like, as y'all saw in the intro, it was a mess. Ooh, Chile. But you know what? All gotta start somewhere. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> and if you want me to do more videos like this where I do looks that I've done in the past, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, subscribe if you like. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And, uh... Yeah, I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye!